Do you have a virus? If your computer's been acting up lately, you might be wondering if something malicious is at play. Stick around because I'm looking at the warning signs of a computer virus and what you can do to kick it to the curb. Before we get into the warning signs, let's just clear up what a computer virus actually is. In the simplest terms, a computer virus is malicious software designed to infiltrate your system, replicate itself and cause all sorts of trouble. Much like biological viruses, they latch onto healthy files or programs, spreading through your system and potentially to others. Viruses can be deployed for various reasons. Some hackers do it for the thrill, others for financial gain. Whatever the motive, the result is the same, your computer and possibly your data is at risk. So, how does a virus get into your system in the first place? Typically it happens when you unknowingly execute a malicious program. This could be an email attachment, a sketchy download or even an infected USB drive. Once activated, the virus embeds itself into your system, often inserting malicious code in your programs or even your operating system's boot sector. Once there, it can do a number of nasty things, like stealing your data, spying on your activities, or even using your computer's resources to carry out attacks on other systems. And, unlike the viruses of the floppy disk era, today's threats spread quickly via the internet, making it easier for them to infect multiple systems in a short amount of time. Now let's get to the part you're probably most concerned about, the warning signs. Here's what you should watch out for. A slow computer. If your once speedy machine is now crawling along, a virus could be the culprit. Some viruses use your system's resources for their own purposes, like mining cryptocurrency or launching attacks on other computers, and you'll notice this as a heavy load making the entire computer feel sluggish. Random or strange fan behavior. Are your computer's fans spinning like crazy even when you're not doing anything intensive? This could be a sign that the virus is making your CPU work overtime. Frequent computer crashes. Does your computer crash often or show the dreaded blue screen of death? While this could be due to various issues, it's also a common symptom of having a virus. A virus can also cause slow internet. If your internet suddenly slows to a crawl, a virus could be using your bandwidth for malicious activities. Sometimes you might even lose your connection entirely. Strange and unknown browser extensions. Notice any new browser extensions that you don't remember adding? Some viruses install these to track your online activity or hijack your browser. Browser redirects. If you're being taken to websites you didn't intend to visit, your browser might be compromised. These redirects are often used to trick you into downloading more malware or giving up personal information. An increased frequency of pop-up ads. If you're being bombarded with pop-up ads, even when you're not on sketchy sites, this could be a sign of adware or a virus has hijacked your system. Weird social media account behavior. If your friends are receiving strange messages from you or your account is posting though you didn't authorize it, that could be a virus on your system using your social media. Your security software won't run or doesn't work properly. If your antivirus software suddenly stops working or won't update, this could be a red flag that a virus has disabled it. Okay, so you've noticed some of these warning signs, but now what? Here's how you can get rid of a virus and protect your system in the future. Close resource-hungry applications. If your fans are running full blast, close unnecessary apps and see if the problem persists. If it doesn't, you might have dodged a bullet, but if the fans keep spinning even when your heavy programs are closed, that might mean it's a virus. Check security notifications. Make sure your antivirus software is running properly. If it's been disabled, restart your computer to re-enable it. Sometimes a simple reboot can fix issues caused by updates or glitches. Sign out of any compromised accounts. If you suspect your accounts have been compromised, sign out of them immediately on all devices. Change your password and enable two-factor authentication if you haven't already. Do malware scans. Run a thorough scan with your antivirus software. If your regular antivirus doesn't find anything, try using additional malware removal tools. Each one has a different virus signature database, so running multiple scans can make a difference. Remove any unwanted extensions. Uninstall any suspicious browser extension that you didn't add yourself. Consider installing an anti-phishing extension to help block dangerous sites in the future. You should also update all your software. Keep your operating system and all software up to date. Many viruses exploit vulnerabilities in outdated software, so staying current can help protect you. Use an ad blocker. Install a reputable ad blocker to help prevent malicious ads from appearing. This can reduce your risk of accidentally clicking on something harmful. Always back up your data. Regularly back up your important files to an external drive or cloud storage. 
That way, if you do get infected, you can restore your system without losing everything. This was a quick guide to spotting and removing computer viruses. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. See you next time.